the camera off the tripod now and I just want to back up here and just show you that uh, although during a uh, offshore passage I would certainly not have the chart plotter on much uh, I wanted to show you that I actually am at a dock right now here in Florida and um, I have all of my systems on board on my instruments are on now the solar panels I gotta tell you they're always on um, the only time I would ever switch off my solar panels would be oh gosh if I had to maintain them or you know change a wire or something because they're on you know 24 7 365 days a year I've got all my other instruments on here uh, I did switch on the battery charger plugged in a shore power because I have to plug in my camera because the battery in my camera is shot but other than that <laughs> Uh, I'm a 12 volt DC battery powered here. All of my instruments are on, all of my systems on board are on. Uh, WeFax, uh, the WeFax receiver here is on. And I wanted to do this with all of my systems on uh, so everybody understands this is not a, a, a specialized uh, test being done in a laboratory or any kind of special setup. Just using the backstay as my antenna, a Dyna plates, and some copper strapping running to the Dyna plates as my grounding system. The single sideband radio, VHF radio. Uh, I have a dedicated uh, GPS for the radios, the power meters for each radio, that kind of thing. Uh, we have my uh, instruments down here: battery system monitor, solar panel controller monitor, my circuit breaker panels, battery switches, other breakers down here. Uh, my water maker control panel is active and on. Everything stereo is even on. I even have some music that I was playing a minute ago. Anyway, I'm doing this test live on the air with everything running, everything set up just like it would be on a coastal or offshore passage. That way there's any interference that you hear, any noises that you hear would be actual, normal, regular, everyday stuff. There is nothing special going on here at all. Sorry, I have to put it like that, but I did get some questions from people on email saying that, oh, you made it look so easy. I bet you've had, you know, so many years of experience in this. You make it look so easy. How can we make it work that well? And to be honest with you, yes, I've been doing this for 45 years, but uh, 40, 45 years. But it doesn't mean that the guy, guy walking off the street can't use these videos, uh, sit in front of the radio, uh, have the manual in front of them, uh, watch these videos, and you'll be able to understand everything that's going on here. There is one additional thing I wanted to point out to people that are uh, using a radio offshore, and that is these right here, a pair of decent communications headphones. I cannot stress this enough, even though I prefer the on-ear phones like this that, you know, don't cover your whole ears. They work great in the tropics, you know, when it's hot outside and it's 90 degrees in your boat, you don't sweat too much. But what's amazing is as to how much better you can hear with a pair of headphones on your head, a decent pair. You don't have to spend any money for noise-canceling headphones or any special digital signal processing. That's all being done right here in your radio. You don't have to worry about it. But putting on a pair of headphones can make the difference between hearing a station perfectly clear and hearing them just barely in the noise. It can also make the difference between hearing them adequately but a little weak and not hearing them at all. So a decent pair of headphones can be very nice to have. 